Hello everyone, my name is Sick, and welcome back to Day Are Billions. This is the second episode of the second season, and we just survived our first zombie wave. They destroyed some walls over here, but we managed to fend them off. Now, we need to figure out what we're going to do next. We are repairing some walls. We have some things that we cannot repair right now because we lack the resources required to do so. Uh, which is wood. There is some free wood over here if we can manage to take out the zombies, but we are building a small army that will allow us to do so. Now, we still have some research that we can do, and I think with the amount of money that we have, we might as well research the sniper, and then we might want to start investing in a mine for iron. Let's have a look. We got attacked over this corner. Got a bunch of cottages. So that's good. Got some more workers. Yeah, excellent. Let's try to repair everything again. We could technically go for a great ballista. I think that would be very good. That would be very good indeed. But where would we put it? Um, somewhere over here would be good, I think, because we have this, uh, this city. It could provide us with useful backup. But it's going to require two people. I think at this particular point, we would be best served with... Let's have a look. The quarry. We can make a quarry for iron. We have five iron right there. Almost no iron right there. So this is about the best that we can do. Alright. Let's build that mine right there. We have our little army. Let's send them out to attack. How many do we have here? We have five. Okay. So we're still being attacked here. We should have access to the sniper now. Let's have a look at what we need. We need two iron. For the soldier, we need two iron as well. We need one food, two iron. Ah, uh, the sniper requires wood as well. Right. Every time it's this corner, man. That's really annoying. <laughs> So we have plenty of resources over here. Building completed. One of the things I would like to have is the market. So that we have, when we have an excess of stuff like wood, we can automatically sell it for more gold. Because gold, actually gold is coming in quite fast now as well. We can research the stone workshop. Let's pause the game for a second there. Um, we need to start expanding. I think we might want to expand over in this direction. We can build a lot of stuff on that, that area. On the other hand, though, we have fish available over here. But actually, we could definitely use the iron, I think, and the stone that we have in this area as well. We could go for a, a mine that has a dual purpose there, I think. So look, ooh, we have a veteran. That's a character who just turned into a veteran, so that's really cool. All right, so let's have a look. To get the market, we need eight workers. We have two. We need energy. We have five energy, so we need two more workers. Is there any tents that we can upgrade? Yes, there is. Let's upgrade this tent. That should give us the workers we need to have more power. Right, it doesn't require any power. That makes sense. Wood and gold, okay. We don't want to build this because it requires energy. Ooh, that is not some. That's something I was not aware of actually. All right, so that's something we need to keep in mind. All right, we could technically build a few tents here, I guess. Yeah, we need some workers. So this is going to provide us with six, I think which will bring the total up to 8, which means that we will have enough for the market once we build... Actually, no. We're going to need one more. One more tent, because we're going to have to... Or two more, actually, I think. Because we are going to need workers for the um, the mill. Right. Okay. All right, so we have some vast zombies coming in. This is bad. Plenty of fast zombies, actually. Alright, so this is all done. We actually have plenty of workers. We just need 
the mill for power. All right, let's build one right there in the corner, I guess. Yeah. Walls are under attack. Be good. Damn it, what are all these fast zombies doing here? We have the town over here. This is where the fast zombies should be, I think. Yes. Might there be another threat that we are unaware of? That might very well be true. Alright, let's make sure that we repair everything that we can repair because all of this stuff keeps being attacked. And oh, oh, look at that. That is quite a lot of zombies. A new task. Maybe we should send a second ranger over here. I think we should. We could go for a sniper. He would be good to have in the tower right there. Actually, it would be good to have a sniper in all the towers. We could also just build a tower. It only requires wood and gold. We have plenty of those at the moment to build a tower right there. We could build a tower right there. We could build a tower right there. You again. So one of these guys, yeah, is going to break off, okay. Are you sure? Oh, the fences yeah, so we have a horde of uh, fast zombies over here. Something to keep in mind. We have some slow zombies in here as well. I hope you're not waiting time. Right, this is what we needed. Let's go back to behind the wall. And again, we have this creature over here that's really annoying. Alright, so we have power, which means that we can now upgrade some tents, I guess. Because we still are going to need extra workers. So, and extra energy, food, which we still have, some gold. Yeah, the, the workers are very much needed. They are trying to break through. Stone Workshop is available. That is very good. What do we need for that? Because I would love to have stone walls. 15 workers, 40 wood, 20 energy. Wow. Yeah, we are going to have to expand pretty soon. The walls are under attack. So tired. Last night was amazing. Gotcha. Alright, right, so we're going to expand over in this direction, I think. We have cottages now. Let us build, then, the market, once we have enough wood. We will have so soon. Actually, we should... Let's see, we have plenty of workers. Oh, we have to have at least 200 colonists to build a new building of this type. Oh, that is interesting. So, we might have to choose here between the stone workshop or the market. How many colonists do we have? We have 164. Okay, so we definitely do need to expand. And we're also going to need more food. Let uh, us uh, set up a hunter cottage. We could get eight food, I guess. Nine food right there. Ten food right there. Twelve food right there. That's pretty decent, isn't it? Well, food right there, okay. Only for a little bit of power. Soon we will have to expand. Let's have us build a Tesla tower. Right there in front of the oh. gate, I guess. Whatever you say. And this guy can help, because he doesn't need to guard this gate while well, we're out here, right? Ready and waiting. All right, let's have him guard the flank here, because we have a zombie coming in. These guys can slowly move forward into the horde and start clearing it out. All right, everything is repaired. That's excellent news. We have some workers uh, remaining, so we have five snipers queued up. We have one, two, three, four, five towers. So hopefully that is going to help us out quite a bit. Right. right, now we need another bit of power. Ready and 
Right, so this Let's is not go. the dead end that I was hoping for. <laughs> of course, my commander. Understood. This guy is almost a veteran as well. That's actually nice. Okay, so we're going to move over in this direction. He can guard the pass. Now we should start building the walls. And over here and the walls over here, I guess. Right, we have our first sniper ready. Let's move him over in this direction. It takes a long time to train these, uh, these uh, snipers, actually. But they have a pretty long range and they're very good, so... Let's pause the game for a second. Let us have a look. We would need to have a gate. So we're going to build a gate right there. And this will be... The setup, I guess, that we would need. Yeah. We could put another gate in behind it. If we decide to go for that. We could make another Tesla tower over here. And start building the other gate over here. Let's have a look. We still have four workers. And we are going to need more... Well, we have enough food. I'd love to get more stone. Which means a quarry would be nice to have. We could place it maybe right there. No, I don't think that's going to fit. We could fit it up here, I think. That's four spaces. That should be exactly what we need. So we have another veteran. Oh. And we have another sniper ready. Let's put him in the tower over here. I think that is the best location for him to be. Now I'm only slightly worried that if this guy attacks a zombie over here, then he's going to draw everyone inside of that uh, place. I think that would be particularly bad. That's... Doesn't seem to be drawing anything. Okay. Great. Cool. Do you need me? This better be good. Sniper is ready. Right, so we have another sniper ready. Let's see. We could also build a great ballista, and I think at this point it would be wise to invest in a great ballista. Right there. Now we could go for a gate. Man, this is kind of annoying. I don't I'm not sure what this is good for. We might get a use out of it. Somehow. It could slow the zombies down if we keep the gate on, on this side of it. Could be a natural barrier, I suppose. Tell me. You are gonna pay me for this, right? Commander? Aren't there other units to bother? Okay, but it's gonna cost you double. Alright, so we've got some you more order? free stuff. There's almost nothing in this direction, so that's yeah. very interesting. Straight to the heart. Cool. Of course, later on we are going to have to double up on the stuff that we have here. Let's see, we have plenty of food. Let's see, we can build some cottages, and we can build them... ...right there. I guess we will build a tent. Or two. Or three. I guess, because we need the workers. Why? Alright, so we have two snipers ready. We could... Well, we don't need them over here anymore, but we could definitely use a sniper up here, which means that this ranger... Actually, she can stay put as well. I want this ranger to train a little bit, so let's send her over here. And then this sniper, I suppose, could be over on this side. And we have one more sniper coming in, who could be in this tower right there. Right. Our great ballista is finished, so any zombie coming this way will be dealt with. Which means that this area is now safe. Which means that we can explore in other directions. And we should kill this last zombie before he does any real damage. Okay. Let us also build a tower right there. Does somebody need a mayor? Ooh, let's have a look. I say a grub. And knows a thing or two about efficient military spending. Sniper salary minus 40%. I think that is extremely powerful. On the other hand, we have Oliana Barnhill. 
having second thoughts on that structure you built, don't worry, Major Barnell is here to give you the best return on that investment. Return cost equals 75%. I think that's decent, but in this particular case, the sniper is the way to go, I think. Because that means we can have a lot more. What's up? Any infected around? And we can have another wall over here, another wall over here, another wall over here. I think this would be a prime location for an expansion or two. And we have plenty of people. We have the 200 colonists. We just need more energy. Which we don't have. The stone workshop, man, is so good. But this would be good as well because we have all these extra income that, we, that we're not spending. Let's try the market because I don't think I've ever built the market before. And it also has the extra effect. Let's see. Automatically sells excess resources produced. Reduces the food needs of surrounding dwellings. Right, so... This would be the best place to build it, because we have most of our buildings, or most of our residential area over here. Cool. That will help. I need to explode this call. What? Right. So those will start or keep advancing. We have another sniper over here, let's put him up in the tower. Oh crap. Are you sure? Let's keep her over in this corner. There we go. Oh crap, this is not good. We start pulling in more zombies now. Let us send our little right. army over in this direction. Right. This sniper can go in here. This soldier needs to move over there. He can go into the tower. Look at this shit. It's only a few, but it's going to be a problem sooner rather than later. Because we're going to keep drawing them in at this rate, then these walls are not going to hold. Attention. Building complete. See what we can do here. Oh crap. Oh crap. <laughs> oh man, I really dislike having this city on our border. It is really bad. I mean, this is something we can still deal with. Oh, look at that. Look at that. We have more and more zombies coming in. Some of them are slow, some of them are fast. We need to keep our soldiers in place to deal with this. Otherwise, this is not going to be happening. All right, let's see. We also have the inn. We're not going to research that. Let's get some more soldiers. I think that will be good. We need to repair the walls. All right, so these zombies are lingering on the edge. This side should be safe. This, shy, this side should be safe as well with the sniper and the experienced archer. This side should be perfectly safe. It is... Holy shit. Wait. Let us have this archer. Because these snipers, they can cover each other, I think. We need more people in this area. And <laughs> we need them now. I think we're going to get this ranger over here as well. Oh, man. And all the soldiers should go directly to this area and these two rangers should be in the tower crap come on okay there we go extra range because we need it oh nice cool Got another soldier coming in. Holy shit, we need to repair the walls, but we can't because the zombies are at the gates and they keep coming. What the hell? Alright, so we have the market finished. That is really good. We can start buying stuff for gold when we need it, but we don't need anything right now. Holy shit, look at this. Let's pause the game for a second because this is hectic. We need to build... Let us see, we don't have the energy. Crap, we need... But we don't have the workers. What else do we need? We need tents. <laughs> Things are getting a little hectic now. We need more workers. Let's build us some tents. But where can we place them? Because 
This is another thing, right? We build a, we're building all of these things so close together. If a single zombie breaks through these walls, infects one of these houses, it's going to spawn four more zombies. They're going to kill the next house. That's going to spawn four more zombies. And so on and so on and so on until we're all dead. And this is not good. <laughs> right, so we like the energy to build even this. But this one tent that we're building should be sufficient to start building another mill. Meanwhile, we need to make sure that we can kill all the shit heading our way. And I'm concerned. I'm very concerned. Holy shit. Can we? Please let me be able to. Ready and wait. Let's go. Build another wall. Inside the wall. <laughs> right, we're going to build that little wall piece there, so they have to go through this little funnel. Waiting on orders. What? Great. Tell me. Holy shit. Oh, this is bad. Alright, maybe... What does this cover? This doesn't cover both walls. I'm not sure what he can cover. We have more soldiers coming in. We have another guy right there. Just guide me to the infection. Heading to the front line. Which is good, because we need them. And we're being attacked elsewhere as well. Holy crap, we have more zombies coming in than we can deal with. <laughs> Let's repair all. Let us... Oh, we're still waiting on the tent to finish. It's almost there. Right. Power up in the corner. Alright, let's send these guys over. Let's spread them out along the wall a little bit. Because they need to deal with this... Uh, I mean, do these guys keep respawning? I have no idea if they do. Or is this a finite amount of zombies heading our way? Because if it's a finite amount of zombies, that is something we can deal with. But if it's not, then we might be severely screwed here. Bring in the soldiers, please. Right, a sniper unit is now a veteran, that's good because that will increase his firing rate. Maybe even his range. It is, it is good target practice for all of our guys though. I'll have to say that. Oh crap, no, this is not what we need right now. Alright, let us... Try to build walls you again. over here. We have zombies coming in from the north. This guy is going to stay inside the walls because there's nowhere else for him to go unless we destroy one of these walls. We have four hours before dozens of infected are coming from the north. This is really bad. And this is also pretty damn bad. I mean... Yeah, he seems like he can hold off for now. Can we, in fact, train some soldiers or some rangers or some snipers? Actually, let's train some soldiers, but we need workers for that, which we don't have. But we have food, we have energy, we have wood. So we can upgrade these houses into cottages that will give us more workers. We need to repair more shit. And we'll build another house right there. And a tent, I guess, because that is what our resources allow us. Because we need the manpower. Holy crap, here comes the zombie horde. Okay. Commander? We need to start being selective. These two soldiers need to go back. This archer in the back needs to go back and reinforce the northern entrance. 
Now hopefully this is going to be enough to hold off whatever shit comes our way from the south. And it seems to be doing the job. Which means that now we need soldiers over on the north side. Yeah, we need more wood, we need more workers. I'm going to save up for the wooden or the stone workshop because we need all that stuff. We need another bit of wall there. These snipers are still doing a good job. These guys are holding off the enemy pretty well. I think these guys are going to be coming from the same area that they were coming from before. I really hope so. Alright, we have 12 workers. Which means... that we still don't have enough. <laughs> um, we could do with a ballista tower. We don't have room for it here. Which is rather unfortunate. But most of our attacks seem to be coming from this area. We could build a tower there. That would help out a little bit. It might just be in time too. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. Yeah. And again, we're going to need more food. We're going to need more firearms. We're going to need more people. We're going to need more of everything. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, that's uh Get these guys as close to the walls as we possibly can. Holy crap, here we come with the other horde. This thing is almost finished. These guys keep on coming though. Alright, let's get this archer over here as well because I am not content with the amount of people we have here. Yeah, we need more soldiers. Oh, we have a soldier. Let's send him over here. Training two more soldiers, yeah. Holy shit. I do not like the look of this horde. It's rather smallish, but look at the rate at which they're chewing through the gates. Oh boy. All right. We need to do some emergency, uh, let's get these four archers okay. over in that direction. Hopefully these soldiers will be enough, along with the people in the tower. Holy shit. Oh, the blizzard tower just smashed a great load of them down. Oh, that is fantastic. That is powerful. That is good. Okay. Now, these guys need to fall back. Around? She needs to go here. He needs to go there. So that we have a little bit more uh, damage over time. Oh man. Did we clear out the town? I really hope so. We need to repair the walls. And then we need to build some more walls. We need to have new gates. We need to have another wall here. And then we have stakes. And they will be good at slowing down the zombies. So let's build some stakes everywhere. Oh, well, we're out of wood already. Alright. Alright. So we need more workers. We need more food. We have enough workers to build another farm, but we need more wood. We could maybe build a farm here. It might not be the best farm in the world, but it might be decent. And decent's what we need. That sniper is much faster now. Alright, so these guys have plenty of range. I think we're going to unload the soldier here. These two soldiers need to come forward. Because we need to start expanding somewhere again. Alright, we have wood. This is hectic, man. <laughs> Let's see about a farm. We could get 34 food for what is the cost in workers? No workers. Provides 12 colonists. Okay. Doesn't require any workers. Oh, that is so good. I had no idea. I thought they required workers as well. Oh, this is the way to go. <laughs> 
most definitely is the, the way to go here. Yeah, that is what we need. Now we can use some workers for a sawmill on stone. And we have plenty of that. That means that we are going to invest in more workers. Because we want to have the stone workshop as quickly as possible. For that we are also going to need to expand because we don't have enough room to build it. But we have an easy expansion over here. I think, at least. Which means that now... Let's see, what was I thinking of building? Right, we needed more food. We have a fisherman cottage. It only requires one energy. Only 80 gold in upkeep. It will provide us with 11 food if we build it here. 14, 13, right there. There we go. And then we could potentially have another one here. No, it's too close, I guess. Yeah, it's too close. That is unfortunate. Maybe later on we can build one over here once we've pushed out more. Alright. Is everything okay? Let's push forward with a little army. Holy crap, that building just spawned a whole lot more. Oh, we need to destroy the buildings. Oh, that sucks. Because we have so much zombies, so many zombies, and we don't have the technology to do the damage we need to do. Crap, we need to fall back. Okay, so that is something we know now. <laughs> let's get four people in the tower. Alright, let's not agitate them anymore. Let's get these guys over to the place we want to expand to. Oh man, look at these walls. That's such an ugly shape. But we need them there too. Alright, let's build a second gate, I guess. Let's make sure that we have some stakes. There we go. That will be better. Any orders? Alright, so we have room for food production over here. That would be really good. We need a tassel tower so we can wall up this area. Let's make that our first priority. Actually, you know what? We've been playing for a while. Let's keep that for a later episode. I think we've managed to accomplish quite a bit. So, yeah. Please leave a like and a comment below if you enjoyed this content and wish to see more. And I'll see you guys for whatever video I do next.